Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes, we should have coffee. Yes. 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 No. Sounds like a good idea. Uh, I think I can clear some time in my schedule next week. Incidentally, you have left your pen here, comrade. Review it. Well, I suppose I could. Yes. Yes, okay, thank you. Thank you. Ah, there you are. Professor Dr. Darkwind Angleby here. And Chair Lord Windermere. University. Uh, I was just talking to my dear friend Conway Stewart. We, we go way, way back. Uh, I, we were both from West Nipshire, just below the Scottish border. And um, um, today I thought we would review a small pen that my good friend Conway left me here. This is the Conway Stewart Dinky. You see? The Dinky small pen, also known as 550. It says 550 on it, and dinky, between quotes. I'm going to cover the parts of the pen, I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then we'll do a writing sample. Okay? So let's start at the very end of the cap here, the finial. As you can see, a nice little gold round pyramid. That's a contradiction in terms, but it still is what it is. Here we have the nice little clip with the Conway Stewart diamond at the end. Yes, yes. And at the end, it actually has the... I think it's a Conway Stewart logo on there. Yes, I think it is. And then you have this wonderful material. Look at this really, really nice blue material. Little vent hole there so the cap doesn't draw a vacuum. And then here, down here, you have the barrel. Look at the barrel. That says Dinky 550 Conway Stewart. And then here you have the lever. That's not lever, it's lever. You see? That's used to fill the pen. There's a sack in there. You put your thumbnail behind that, and then you can just operate the lever and draw up ink. You know, SBRE Brown probably has a video on various filling systems. Now, you can pose this pen, which is a good thing, because it's rather small. I'm 10 inches. Yes, I, I know you're 10 inches, Lord. Wait a minute. Anyway, it's a rather small pen, and that's why it's so fine and just so lovely. That you can actually post it so that you get a decently sized pen. Decently sized pen, although it's still very, very thin. Okay, now the nib, actually gold, at least I'm fairly sure it's gold. Yes, yes, 14 karat gold, Conway Stewart. Nice, very springy nib. Very springy nib. And then a nice old fashioned feed, you see? So a little sack in there, etc. So here you have the pen. What do I like about it? What do I not like about it? Well, I like the very, very material. Very pretty very attractive finish. What I don't like so much about it is that it's so small. If you have somewhat larger hands, this may not be the pen for you. However, I'm 10 inches. Yes, I know you're 10 inches, Lord Windermere. Please, please let me finish this review. So, uh, the, 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 uh, it's small. Now, I think what we need to do is take a couple of measurements. Take a couple of measurements where my... Ah, yes. Here we go. Here's my, my little thing with the thing with the measurements. Yes, I'm going to take some measurements. Yes, yes, yes. Let me see. 102.9 millimeters, 4.05 inches. That is closed, capped, uncapped. I have a length of 3.59 inches. That is 91.2 millimeters. This being so small, let's post it. Take another measurement. Yes, yes. 124.6 millimeters, posted 124.5 millimeters, and that's 4.9 inches. Okay, now let's take a measurement of the diameter of the section. 0 0.24 inch at the narrowest point, that's 6.2 millimeters, and down there, right above the threads, 7.5 millimeters or 0 0.29 of an inch. I'm 10 inches. I think the next thing we should do is uh, weigh it. Uh, to this end, I'm going to activate the scale so it's next to me. I nearly fell off, you bugger! Oh, I'm sorry. Lord Winnemar nearly fell off because his hat nearly came off. Uh, you just sit there for a second. Bloody bugger. Eight grams inked up. So it's not very heavy. Well, um, this was the Conway Stewart Dinky. I think we should do next, have a look at the writing sample. Let's do writing sample, and then we'll do something else. But I don't know what yet. Whatever you want. Spend the day in any, any way you see fit. So, I hope this was useful so far. I'll see you at the writing sample. Ta oh yes, writing with the dinky. As you can see, a fairly small pen. 
let's have a look at this pen. Here we have Conway Stewart Dinky 550. The ink is Conway Stewart. Tamar, or is it TV? I forgot. It doesn't really matter. It's a dark blue ink. Now then, let's do some writing. Yes. It's always a fox. Would you awfully mind if you'd make the quick brown lobster jump? Um, well, yes, I suppose it's not, it's not really... Most lobsters are in fact not as red as they look. They just get red when you boil them, which is obviously a terrible crime. Yes, yes, you shouldn't boil lobsters. Uh, jumped? Have you ever seen a jumping lobster, Wendy? I can jump pretty well. I'm ten inches. How exactly is body size correlated to jumping capabilities? I don't fully understand. Anyway, jumped over the lazy dog. Do you mind writing professor? I guess so. Anyway, fast writing. As you can see, nice flow. Bit of a skip there, but that was me misaligning the nib, so it looks very well. As to wetness. A nice, relatively wet nib, and then line variation. Where the pen starts to shine. One has to love these vintage flex nibs that just keep going and going until they start a railroad. Yes, yes, but you see it picks up again. Reverse writing, very scratchy, I'm not going to push that, uh, but it does work. And um, that's all there is to it. So here you have it, the Conway Stewart Dinky, pen of my very, very dear friend Conway Stewart. I, um, I hope this was useful, and um, I'll gladly see you later. Ta-ta!